ask you a question. What is the most powerful thing you have ever experienced in your life? When I think about my life, there's a couple things that come to mind. One is, when I was a child, I experienced the power and the force of a tornado. It came through our town, it destroyed and demolished our town. In fact, it took the lives of eight people on that day. That was a powerful experience. I've also experienced the power and the beauty of seeing three of my children, Michelle and I, bringing three children into the world. What a beautiful and powerful, th I'll never forget this, ever. It was amazing. Now, both of those are powerful, but you know the most powerful thing I've ever experienced in life is the forgiveness of God. The fact that he would forgive my sins and love me even when I did not deserve it. He forgave my sins. His forgiveness is so powerful. In the forgiveness I've experienced, he calls me to forgive other people in the same way. Now, I can't forgive their sins. That's what Jesus has provided for and God does through Jesus for anyone who will receive that. But this principle and this spiritual um, understanding of giving what I've received and forgiveness, I'm called to and you are too. Now, to understand this and apply this can be challenging. And so we're going to study that this Sunday. This Sunday is going to be a restart of the Peter series. Um, back when COVID began, uh, we moved away from this series and we brought it to a halt, but now we're going to restart it this Sunday. We're about halfway through and we're going to begin with Peter's question about forgiveness. He had questions. Jesus had answers. And this conversation that they had is something we all need so we can understand how to apply forgiveness. You know, C.S. Lewis said something very interesting about forgiveness. He said, everyone says forgiveness is a lovely idea until they have something to forgive. And isn't that true? We like the concept of it for ourselves, but to apply it to someone else, sometimes that's hard. But we can understand how to do this. Here's a verse that's been helpful to me. It comes out of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. And it says, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ, just as in Christ God forgave you. Now, when I stop to really think about that, the fact that God forgave me in Christ and based on that, I have the ability to forgive others, that's powerful. Um, that is something that we can do and we're called to do toward other people. But we're going to come to a full understanding of it this Sunday. So I want to invite you, prepare your heart, uh, tune in, be here, be a part, because this is such a powerful truth that we all need. So I'll look forward to worshiping with you on this Sunday as we unpack the power and the purpose of receiving and giving forgiveness. It's beautiful. I look forward to seeing you Sunday.